In this video tutorial, we show you how to set up an IVR service on OpenHouse. This service can be used to respond to an inbound customer call, record inputs from caller and redirect the caller to a voice respondent. To find out more about the features of the IVR service, visit the Learning Centre. Recently, a large white goods distributor created and deployed an IVR service to direct thousands of callers every day to the appropriate fulfillment department in the company. This reduced their cost, customers' wait time during handover, and increased customer satisfaction. There are four parts to setting up an IVR service. First, renting an inbound voice number and an associated rate plan. Next, uploading the required media files containing audio directions to the caller. Then, designing the IVR call flow using the call flow builder. Finally, linking the inbound number to the IVR service and launching it. You will first have to rent a voice number from OpenHouse. You will use this in all your promotions like banners, billboards and newspaper ads. To find out how to rent a voice number, please watch the other tutorial titled Renting Resources on OpenHouse. Create all your media files that you need for the IVR in advance. As shown in this flow diagram, we have created one media clip and uploaded it into the media section of My Resources. Name your clip appropriately to help you when linking them into the IVR. To find out how to upload your media content, watch the tutorial titled Loading Contacts and Media into Open House. Now we create an IVR flow using the IVR Call Flow Designer tool. Log into Open House. On the home page, hover your mouse cursor over the username at the top right hand corner. This pulls down a menu. Click on My Account. On the following page, click on the tile I want to manage my assets and click on the Call Flow Designer. Create a new call flow by clicking on the red tab. Enter a name for your IVR that can be easily remembered. We call the template Voice Responder. Select Voice as the intended type. If you have created IVR templates in the past, you can edit it for the new IVR. In this case, we create a new template. An IVR Builder Canvas opens up. Click on the base node to create the first element of your IVR. Typically, this will be a greeting to the caller and a menu of numbered options. Set the node type to Menu and let's call this node as Greetings. Click on Save. Now click on the same node to pull up its properties and options. In this case, we want to have three possible paths based on the caller selections. We set menu options as 1 to 3 as shown. Let other options be set to default. Click on the prompt tab and add the associated audio file by clicking the Add Media tab. Select the uploaded audio media which directs the user. Click on Save to proceed. You will now see three new paths from the base node. We associate a voice rep to nodes 1 and 2. In this case, if a customer pressed 1, then we lead him to a voice rep in sales department. To do this, click on the node number 1, and under node type, select Transfer. Associate a unique name for the transferee. I enter Sharon. Click on Save. Click on the node again to see a Transfer Properties pop-up box. Enter the rep's number here. We enter Sharon's number. We can also select a transfer jingle to be played until the connection is made. This jingle must be uploaded into the Media section in My Resources before creating the IVR. Click on Save. 
Repeat the same for the node number 2. In this example, we use the third node for a user to exit the IVR. To do this, click on node number 3 and set the node type to Disconnect. Set an appropriate name for the node and click on Save. Click on the Update button on the top left corner. See if there are any errors highlighted by the error notifier in the Overview section. Clicking on the error number will show you the list of errors. If there are no errors, we have finished designing the call flow. In case there are errors, please fix them. Common errors include not associating the media files or leaving orphaned nodes in the flow. Now, click on My Account under the user name. Click on I want to manage my assets and then the Call Flow Designer. This pulls up the Manage My Call Flows page. Find the newly designed IVR flow and click on the Publish icon to make it live. Finally, we hook this IVR to a voice response service on Open House. Go to the Business Tools section and click I want to set up voice applications and then click on Voice Response. Enter an appropriate service name. In this case, we call it Virtual Receptionist. Provide an app description for the service. Set a start date and an end date for the service. In this case, we set it for a duration of a month from now. In the service number pull-down, select the voice inbound number we rented from Open House in the first part of the setup. Under the Select Call Flow pull-down menu, choose the recently designed template, Voice Responder. Finally, click on Submit. After the service is submitted, go to the My Services page. Find the newly set up Virtual Receptionist service. Click on Manage to first allocate funds to this service. Click Manage Funds. Depending on the expected usage, check against the rate card and allocate funds here. You can add more funds from the same section later. Once this is done, you can now launch the service. Your service is now live and can be used by anyone. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please remember that you can find several other tutorials from different mobile engagement services in the Learning Centre. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. To find out more, get in touch with our team at support.openhouse at imimobile.com.